Hey guys, I'm Ray. And I'm Jason. And in this video, we will be doing a product review of RV Lock Keyless Handle. So you're gonna come along with us for the whole process of unboxing and installing and getting our initial thoughts. If you don't know what an RV lock is, it is an electronic keyless handle. So basically you can input a code instead of having to have a key. It also comes with a little key fob so you can just boop boop open your RV basically the same way you open your car. Yeah, I'm super excited for this. I think I've wanted one since we got the RV because I just don't like regular <laughs> locks. I don't know. It's the future, you know. <laughs> exactly. My main concern and my main reason for actually wanting this lock when we first heard of it is for Carmen. So in case of an emergency and we can't get back to the campground, I feel a lot more comfortable being able to call the campground and ask them to go get Carmen out of the RV and simply just give them a code. We're not comfortable leaving a spare key with every campground we go to, and I kind of think that's unrealistic. And we also don't want a spare key in one of those hide a keys. So this is a lot easier, and if you do give your code to someone for any reason, you're able to change it. So that was my main reason, was really just our dog safety. So first impressions on the box is it is substantial. So it feels like the, the lock itself is pretty heavy duty. Some of the things they have here is it can be key to like with other RV lock products, because I know they make uh, baggage door locks now and other things. So that's that's really nice because we have the key to like system right now and it's very convenient only having one key. If we do like the RV lock, I think we'll probably upgrade our baggage doors to make it convenient. The other thing we like is that it says it's a heavy duty steel core for durability and protection. So I feel like this thing will definitely keep your door locked and keep people from easily bypassing it to get in. I think if you are concerned about theft or you know maybe you're leaving your RV in a storage lot for a while, uh, an RV lock would be a better option because if you go to their Facebook page or any of their social media platforms, they do have people that write in and show crowbar marks, but the theft, the robber, the thefter, <laughs> didn't get in because they couldn't get past the RV lock when you normally, some of the manufactured locks, you would be able to just crowbar right in. All right, so that's pretty much a high level overview of the RV lock and the features and why we wanted it. So we're ready to install, but right before we get there, we did want to mention something in full disclosure. As you know, we like to be fully transparent with our product reviews and our campground reviews. So we wanted to let you know about something that happened with the RV lock. So you may have noticed that we do have two boxes here and that's because the first RV lock that we were sent, we weren't able to successfully install. Unfortunately, when we are trying to install it, we were not able to get the screw screwed in fully and based on a couple of other Amazon reviews. Uh, only two. Yeah. You gotta be not, fully transparent. Yeah, not, there was not only a lot. two reviews. <laughs> we were able to determine that we had the same issue with this lock that it doesn't appear that the screw Holes. hole was drilled all the way out. So we can only screw in uh, the screw a very short amount because the, the screw hole was untapped. And so that meant that it would be sitting on the door and it wouldn't be fully secure, which we were not comfortable with. So we were just gonna return it, but our V-Lock did send us out another one uh, so we can send this back. And we saw that uh, on Amazon, the other reviewers that had the same problem, our V-Lock did the same for them. And one thing to mention is, when we told them about our problem and we said that we would actually be mentioning this in the review, there was 
no qualms about it. They wanted us to be fully transparent and talk about it. So I think that that shows integrity in the company and that they stand behind their products. All right, so let's go take this new RV lock and see if we can get it installed. <laughs> it says it should take about 10 minutes, which according to last time when we did it, seems about right. Yep. All right, so inside the box comes with the instructions, just a one piece page of paper, which is really nice. So it says, first remove your existing handle. Okay, so what he's doing now is removing the two screws from the strike plate on the door's edge so we can fully remove the whole handle. All right, our lock has this little plastic spacer thing uh, attached to the old bower handle. So you wanna make sure you remove that as well. Gently slide the front of your new handle into the door opening while carefully pulling the wires ahead of the lock. Then hold the lock in place and attach the new strike plate with two shorter screws. So, so they do include the new strike plate and all the screws you need in the RV lock box as well. So we were prepared for this from the first time. You need to really make sure when you start to put the lock on that it covers and seals along the whole hole because this has nothing to do with RV lock. This has to do with your RV manufacturer and how they cut the hole in your door. So sometimes they might cut it just a little bit wider than it really needs to be. So we wanna make sure that there's no water seeping in. So we already pre-purchased this. RV Lock sells this because obviously it's such a big enough issue with different RV manufacturers cutting different sizes and different doors that they already knew about it. So we pre-purchased this and we've had it in our arsenal. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this on to make sure no water gets inside our lock. So we were able to secure the strike plate <laughs> right here uh, with the two screws. It's definitely easier with two people, although one could probably do it. Um, it's definitely helpful to have another set of hands. All right, so the next step is to put the back on and connect the battery wires. And it says that you will hear a confirmation beep when the connection is made. Oh. These are spare keys. I guess we should cut those off. <laughs> Now we're just gonna screw it into place. Okay. So that was definitely <laughs> more successful than last time. Uh, yeah, it's pretty easy actually. I think we were able to get it on there once we got the gasket on there. Yeah, looks nice with the gasket on there too. There definitely won't be any leakage, which is nice. So. Now that it is installed on the door, we are able to set our keypad code. So to do that, it actually says there's a default code. So put in the default code and press the lock button on the keypad. And it says your handle should now be functioning correctly.
All right, if code reset is unsuccessful like us, it says to press the code reset button on the back and hold it down until you hear that beep. Now you can try again. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. <laughs> okay, sounds like it changed it, so now test it out with the new code. <laughs> Unlocking it, which is probably more important. <laughs> yes. All right, unlock successfully. Cool. All right, so now the final thing is programming our key fobs. So let's give that one a try. So to program the key fobs, it says to turn the switch to on. Press the key fob learn button and then press oh. it until you hear the success. All right, so now they say to test it. Locked. Unlocked, awesome. Since we have a second key fob, we're gonna go ahead and repeat the same process. All right, the lock is installed and the key fobs are programmed, so we are good to go. That was definitely a lot easier than the first time. Obviously, when the screws go in all the way, that helps. But we are really thankful for RV Lock sending us this and working with us and sending out another one so quickly and just, you know, having good customer service. So we do wanna thank them for the lock. And then of course, we did ask them if they would provide a coupon code for anyone in our getaway gang and they happily said yes. So if you want 15% off any of their products, you can use the code getaway15 and that should give you 15% off. And their website is rvlock.com if you wanna go check out all the different products they offer. If you do have a grand design like us, we definitely recommend picking up that gasket. It really does give it a good seal with the, the lock and the door. And we also did pick up an extra key fob because um, one comes with the lock. So we purchased another one because we each wanted one. All right, we hope you found this review helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to join our getaway gang and so you don't miss out on any future coupon codes for RV products that we love. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Oh, you okay? Let's just wait. All right, so. Oh, I'm sorry. What? No, no, it's fine. And this video is going to be a product review of RV Lock. And I'm Jason. And in this video, we will be doing a room. There's another boat. Just to make sure that your hole, I don't wanna say that, seal the hole, so.